my name is Martin and this little video I like to show how this restroom became a dirty looking. Um, this picture is taken from a German photographer Jan um, and I helped him to understand a little bit more about dirty looking and um, in this video I present the topaz filters, adjust and simplify, and a little bit of my style in Photoshop with the texture. So let us start to show the picture on the end. Um, this is what I like, what I call dirty login, the grunge style. And so we go in. And first in the filter adjustments here we've got two layers a smart object with the topaz simplify and adjust I use two different layers um, because I want to change the layers a little bit and it's a little bit easier to do it on two different layers instead of do it only one smart object it's even going in the in one smart object but I think it's a little bit easier if you have two layers so the first is the topaz simplify and in this filter I want to become a little bit smooth into the picture so that's the reason why I'm not going so much up with the adjustments. It's only a little bit in the changing here. Um, it's a little bit more details to become a more grainy look. So it's a little bit more like an uh, old picture or maybe a painting, something like this. That's a little bit in the brightness and contrast adjustments. And then I have to do a little bit on the edges to become a little, little cartoon style. It helps a little bit more for a painting style in this picture. So um, it's not to simplify everything, all the small details. It's more to help to get a little bit of the simplify filter on this and the next it's the topaz adjust on uh, this filter I gave the picture the real dirty looking more grainy looking um, boost details and contrast uh, first to start with the exposure uh, with all the sliders give a little bit more dark looking dirty looking on this picture go down with the highlights lighten the shadows a little bit and then jump into the details to push the details to boost them up and um, here's uh, important to change the threshold and the radius a little bit became different looking so um, it's nice to play with this sliders a little bit and so you can choose an adjustment you like a little more a little into so big uh, change in the picture a little bit sharpen to become a little edge style um, color <laughs> doesn't matter it's a black and white you do nothing with the noise I want to have the grain in the picture this is what I like on pictures especially on black and white and I think it helps it helps a little bit for the dirty looking um, yeah that's the uh, two nice filters adjust and simplify topaz 
and uh, the next is the the texture to give a more dirty look in especially with the solid color layer here it's a little brown toning um, and uh, it's a uh, level adjustment for the contrast on the tone and the texture the texture is coming from a tree I change it to normal it's a, it's a tree texture um, in the blending mode soft light and with the solid color layer and the level layer I adjust this texture to my style what I want to have for this picture and at last the vignette I use a layer go down with the highlight slider a little bit more to the middle and that gives a little vignette on the picture it's a layer mask on it yeah and uh, this is my way to go with the picture to another side from the clean to the dirty i hope you like and it's a little helpfully for you see you next time bye